Hi friends, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are not yet subscribed, please make sure to do so. I make videos all about mindfulness, spirituality, and positivity. First off, I just want to say hey because it's been quite a bit since I've uploaded a video on this channel. That's mainly because I've been so focused on putting up vlogs on my main channel, which I'm sure most of you guys came from my main channel, so maybe you're already subscribed or you know that I have that channel but you should subscribe if you're not. I've just been vlogging a lot lately, so a lot of my vlogs, or all of my vlogs, have been going up over there. I definitely don't want to neglect this channel because this is something that I'm super passionate about and I feel like I love making these videos that have some sort of valuable message behind them that can benefit everyone. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna try to be as consistent as I can again. We're doing it, guys. I'm gonna try my best. Today's video is going to be about a topic that has really resonated with me since like the moment I started learning about it. So today I want to talk a little bit about minimalism, specifically this idea of minimal thinking and this idea that the less thinking you do, the more you get out of life. So let me just give a quick backstory to how I discovered minimalism and kind of how I got to the point where I'm at with it. I'd heard about minimalism growing up, you know, a little bit, just like here and there. Whenever I heard the word minimalism, I would associate it with like a very clean cut, organized, very empty space, basically. To me, minimalism, I just saw it as like a style. Because it is, it's an art style, it's like a style of interior decorating, like it's a style. But I didn't think that minimalism was anything beyond that. I feel like whenever people hear that someone's a minimalist, they assume that they basically own nothing and that their home probably looks like that minimalism style that I kind of just described. That they're just kind of probably bland, boring people. That's a total stereotype. I don't think that's true at all, but I feel like that's what most people think when they hear that someone's a minimalist. The documentary that gave me the best understanding of minimalism is the documentary called Minimalism that's on Netflix. It was put together by these two guys, Ryan Nicodemus and Joshua Milburn. Those two guys are incredible and that documentary is so good and I highly recommend it. I've talked about it before. That documentary gave me the best understanding of what minimalism really is and how much deeper it is than just like a style. Quick intermission, this is my baby kitten and she just came in my room. She's being a little bit wild right now. So if you hear any little noises, that's probably her just causing a ruckus in my room. I could honestly make a whole video just talking about the key points and the most important factors of that documentary but I think it's just better if you guys watch it for yourselves. The main idea that I want you all to know is that minimalism is not deprivation. Minimalism doesn't mean you give up everything in your life and you just live in a monastery like a monk in the middle of nowhere with no friends, no belongings, nothing. Here's the thing, you can deprive yourself and call yourself a minimalist. That's not gonna make you a happier person. What's going to make you happy and what's going to give you the most value out of a minimalist lifestyle is being aware and conscious of the things that you value and the things that add value to your life. In my perception after watching the minimalism documentary and listening to Ryan and Joshua's podcast, I've kind of concluded that Minimalism is living a more valuable life with less. Overall, just being a happier person with a more fulfilling life because you actually value the things you have and you're not just trying to consume material items to fill a void within yourself. And I feel like that's what so many people do in their lives. They work so hard and then they feel like they deserve it so they have to indulge in something. It's almost like people feel so internally unhappy that they think external things can make them happy, can be that substitute for that internal happiness. And it just does not work like that. It's really about doing things deliberately with intention and it doesn't just have to do with the stuff that we consume, with the stuff that we have. Decluttering is not going to solve it all. That's just one aspect of minimalism and living a more meaningful life, you know? So the question you want to ask yourself is, what adds value to my life? 
So while minimalism can start with like a huge declutter of your material objects, you'll realize that it goes far deeper than that. You know, after you go and deal with the external clutter, as we all should, because clutter just doesn't benefit anyone, really, it will hopefully give you that motivation to look inward and deal with the inner clutter. Whether you realize it or not, we all have inner clutter. We have spiritual clutter, we have emotional clutter, we have psychological clutter. To be able to go into your mind and your headspace and deal with that internal clutter after you've already dealt with the external, that is gonna bring you the most peace. That will show you where your inner priorities are. You'll know that every decision you're making is coming from a clear headspace. So circling back to when you're dealing with that internal clutter, whatever kind it may be, you always wanna ask yourself, what weight am I carrying with me? And how can I let go of that weight? The theme of like carrying weight is something that I talk about often because I feel like so many people unconsciously are doing that. Weight can come in the form of fear, of doubt, of pressure, of guilt, of hatred, of anger. All of that weight, it's just not something you want to carry. It is very likely that almost every day we pick up some form of weight and we don't give ourselves permission to release it. I feel like 90% of the problems that we encounter are all caused by ourselves and our thoughts. And I'll tell you right now, this was brought up in a podcast and I just really agree with it. Entitlement and expectation are common forms of weight that we all carry all the time without even realizing it. Whenever we identify with some aspect of ourselves or of what we do, you know, some of us more than others, some of us have greater egos than other people, but either way, whenever you feel entitled, you're putting this unnecessary weight on every situation that you enter. And if somebody doesn't treat you the way that you think you should be treated, then you are going to be upset and you are going to be let down. And if you have all these expectations, I have a very weird relationship with expectations. I don't like them. I try not to set expectations anymore because I just think that expectations lead to disappointment. They kind of take away from being present in each moment because you're constantly thinking of what's going to happen or what you want to happen. And if it doesn't happen, most likely the way you react, it's not going to be good. I just think that we overthink things and we think too much and that's what causes this chaos in our minds. I think that's why people love meditation so much is because it is the one of the most, I think, productive ways to go inward and heal that internal clutter. When you're in a meditative state for a long time, your thoughts are not chaotic. You are thinking less, but you are getting more out of the present moment. And that's what I think is something we should all kind of practice. When you think less, you can be more at peace, therefore being more present. And so that is minimal thinking. That's how I've taken minimalism and incorporated it into my life and started to practice it as well. Hopefully that made some sense to you guys and I hope you were able to take something meaningful away from this video. I want to have the name of the documentary below if you guys want to go check it out and learn more about minimalism. I'll probably be making more videos about this topic on this channel. Let me know if you like them. Give this video a thumbs up for me. It would mean so much to me. I love you guys so much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you'd like. I want to end this video with two things. First thing is a quote from the minimalism documentary. Love people and use things because the opposite never works. And then my little outro message. I love you guys so much. Always remember to be here, be still, and be love. Bye guys.